Hey, what's going on guys? Today we got a Going Gear EDC Club box. So, let's break into it. All right, just took it out of its uh, outer packaging. All right, we got paperwork here. Ooh, we got knives and more knives and a multi-tool, which probably has a knife in it. And some stickers, looks like. Oh, that's cool. I dig that. And what's this? Oh, that's really nice too. I do like that they, they change it up a little bit. I love these going gear uh, stickers. I keep these on everything. All right, let's put this off to the side here. Bring this back. Leave our little stickers uh, visible there. So what should we get into first? We have a Savibi, which uh, I'm a huge fan of, and Kaiser. And then next tool. I definitely don't have this. I have, I've had many Kaisers and many Savibis, so let's see. Let's see if we've had this one specifically. Well, we need our EDC today, which should we do a video on soon? The case. All right, let's cut that. Leave that there. All right, so what? Savibi. Ooh. Ooh, it's an Elementum which I'm a huge fan of, by the way. They have many, 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 many models, different versions and whatnot. I definitely don't have this one. Ooh, we got the uh, the button lock. Oh, I dig it. Oh, this one's really, really nice. So green, canvas micarta, I'm guessing. This little pocket clip, little matching uh, backspacers. <laughs> I don't know why I said they were backspacers. A backspacer singular and we had the bud lock all right so very simple no flipper no thumb studs that's it you got to use a lock lock to open lock to shut pretty cool i'm a fan all right so let's uh what's the blade steel on this one let's see Butt lock elementum all of uh, my card handle okay black stone wash 14 c 28 n Sweet. So this is the C2103B. That's the model on that guy. All right. So, hmm. Kaiser, next tool. Let's do Kaiser. Let's use our Elementum we just got. Oh, we don't have to use a knife to open anything. All right. Well, we'll use it to open the next tool, which is next. We got some fuzz. What's the fuzz from? All right. So, do you like this bifold? Little packaging there. All right, Kaiser sticker. Put that with the other stickers. What is this? Azo Drop Bear. Pretty cool. Designed by Kaiser fan Mr. Varela. All right, got to give credit to Mr. All right, so paperwork. Got some. Oh, I got another. Omega Springs and some uh, hardware. That's very nice. Okay. Oh man, that's cool. Ooh, I'm digging that a lot. What model is this even? I don't think I've seen this before. The drop bear? Yeah, I don't I really don't think I've seen this before. Huh, maybe I'm out of the loop. I love those scales. Super cool. All right, and of course the access lock in 20 CV. Man, I'm already sold, I didn't even open it. Smooth, comfortable, I dig the blade. Ooh, nice pocket clip. There's like, look at the contour on that pocket clip. That's pretty neat, I haven't seen that before. Very, very nice. All right, access lock, just as fun as you would think. All right, you can use the lock to open it if you want. Very, very excited about this one. That is super, super cool. I dig it. All right, actually, we're going to use this guy to open up our next tool. All right, so next tool, mini sailor, multi-functional uh, pliers. Okay, close that. Actually, it's cool our case, too, in the background there. Talk about that in a future video. Today is my last day carrying it. I've carried it enough. All right. So, into multi-tools. You know, it's funny with multi-tools, I actually carry one every single day. I have every single day for probably 
I don't know, four or five months, maybe four months, about four months or so. Um, and uh, I'm just getting really used to having it on my side to carry in the, uh, the sheath. And it's just nice. I mean, I've always bounced back and forth between uh, multi-tools, you know, like I'm really into it and I try to get different models and try a bunch. And then like, you know, it stays cold for a while where I just don't focus on something else and then I always jump back to it. So I just got some tape work in there. All right, so next tool. This reminds me of a small Leatherman. All right, spring pliers, that's very cool. These heads looks like they're very well done, like precision cut. All right, um, so that's nice that it's just the pliers when you open this, so everything else is accessible from the outside when it's closed. I definitely dig that. All right, so we got a um, can opener, bottle opener combo. It's on one side. Then we have, looks like our main blade on the other side, which seems sharp. I guess these are just springs, All right? All right, then we have a little flathead. We have a little Phillips head. We have, looks like maybe some scissors. Yep. We'll pop that open there. <laughs> All right, so we got some scissors. I'm not sure why that's, there's like a hook there. But anyway, a little flat side there. And is that it? Almost looks like there's, no, no, there's more. Well, look at that teeny tiny little thing. Man, that's awesome to like reset your phone <laughs> or maybe push the little button to pop out your SIM card or something. That's kind of cool. Is there something small on the other side here? Looks like it. What the heck is this? There's like little, little extra tools. Oh, okay, that looks like for a lanyard. If you wanna put a lanyard on there. Am I done? Is that it? Looks like it. All right, well, we're gonna check out, let's see. Let's look at the paperwork. See if we got all of it. All right, so scissors. Yeah, it's showing you tips on how to open the scissors. Okay, what do we have going on here? Knife, bottle opener, can opener, uh, scissors. Yeah, the little lanyard hole thing. The Phillips, the flathead. It is showing that tiny little thing. But this is all in another language. And there's English, there we go. Oh my God, SIM card needle. How about that? That's exactly what that's for. Man, what a nice guess. All right, so yes, um, hanging hole, they're calling it. Okay, so yeah, pretty cool. It does say main material is 420J2 and 420J1. So our blade is probably 420J2, which is, you know, it's, you know, it's cheap. Um, I think 420J2 is used as a liner for a lot of uh, folding knives and stuff for uh, you know liner lock side, but we'll see. I'll, I'll check it out. Definitely dig this little teeny tiny tool there. That's pretty cool uh, for all the tech people out there. If you're doing a lot of stuff with uh, SIM cards, I suppose that'd be an extra nice thing to have. None of these uh, tools lock. Whoop, let's put that back up. All right, but then again, our main little pliers. I do like spring pliers. That is a huge bonus. So yeah, pretty cool. I dig it. All right, so fantastic knife, fantastic knife. Pretty cool little multi-tool. All right, let's look at these uh, paper details. So the premium box is the uh, Drop Bear Fat Carbon. All right, so that's gonna be the additional charge on the premium box, or it would just have been the Elementum and the next tool. So let's see, that Drop Bear. Another amazing creation from Azo Mai. Uh, the Kaiser Drop Bear is an all-around fantastic EDC folding knife. It features, it features Kaiser's new clutch lock that resembles the more familiar axis or crossbar lock, providing excellent blade deployment. This going gear exclusive features toxic storm fat carbon handles and a 2.99 inch stonewash CPM 20 CV steel blade. Fat carbon manufactures some of the most unique and high quality carbon fiber available. I know I've seen this on many knives lately, so now I know what it's called, fat carbon. So here's hopefully a better shot of that interesting carbon fiber pattern. Very, very neat. And again, love that, that uh, contoured pocket clip. I think that's super cool. All right, so, um, CV button lock elementum. All right, uh, and of course you can read all this stuff here. And you can read about the next tool there. There's actually the breakdown, again, of all those tools. So awesome, awesome, two thumbs up on this month's um, 
going to your club. So this this guy actually is going to go in my pocket next, I think. And then I will try this uh, Sadi for a little while. Man, I just the Elementum is, I mean, there's so many spinoffs of it because they're, they're super popular, but there's a good reason for it. Just absolutely love this design. It's really clean, really simple. I love the black and green here, and the button lock is just awesome. I'm actually, I'm happy to see that this is not a flipper. I do have, oh man, so many flippers lately. Um, back in the day, I was a thumb stud guy. I mean, I've, I've definitely been, you know, converted into liking flippers. I like all kinds of knives, but... But, I mean, it's just a super clean, like I said, there's nothing sticking out, no front flipper, back flipper, you know, studs. It's just how you want to open it, push the button. You know, if you want to open it slow, you could do that. You can just kind of let gravity push that a little bit, and then you can use the thumb to open it. You don't have to go swinging it out, you know, in case you're, I don't know, somewhere it's inappropriate. Maybe you're at a funeral or something, you need to cut something. You don't be like, da! You know, so then you can just go, okay, you know, very sad, we're at a funeral. Make my little cut, and okay, back in the pocket. All right, so that is it for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Let me know what you carry to funerals because I do have a funeral EDC. I might even have done a funeral EDC video before. Um, but yeah, I mean, we have to go places. I always have stuff wherever I go. It doesn't matter if it's a funeral or a wedding, um, any occasion, I always have some. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.